everyone, I am Matt Teletokos, the Alchemist or Tasker, and I'm here tonight to talk about uh, the Nintendo Direct Showcase that broadcast today. And, and I just need to say it's pretty good, and I'm going to talk about what I liked from it. And now, well, before anyone mentions anything, I just want to say that I uh, am not going to be covering everything from Direct, uh, just the stuff uh, that really caught my interest. And if it was other stuff that I think plenty of people will like. And so, with that being said, before we start to go over it, I just want to say, and this is something that's been on my mind with pretty much every direct, but you always see this annoying stuff in the chat. Oh, you know. People going, we don't care, and, and sleeping emojis, and it's really annoying. I mean, so if you pulled, pulled that in the chat, then I just want to say, touch grass. And it's like, go outside and roll out in the meadow, oh, because nobody likes seeing that. We all think it's annoying. So, oh, cut that out. Touch some grass. And now I need to touch grass as for focusing on it. And, but I just need to get that out of my system. And, and before the direct started, and I was kind of in a bit of a sour mood. And, and like, Twitter was starting to have problems, and they're still persisting right now. Oh, it's been a few hours, and it's widespread apparently. Apparently. For a while, we were having trouble double tweeting anything, and DMs are still a little down. So, that gives me an opportunity to just focus on, on talking about the Direct and what I like from it. So, let's start by, by going over the first thing it got announced, which is Pikmin 4 coming out in July. And it looks good. It looks really good. good. And... And it has a dog in it. And like, look at the dog. Look at the doggo. There I go. I'm going to include a screenshot here with, with a few red Pikmin bouncing on the doggo. And you cannot tell me that it's cute. And anyone in the comments who might, might be ready to say, oh, that's not cute. I see you. You're wrong. You're just wrong. And I just want to say that much. You're wrong. And then... And we also saw an uh, announcement for a new Samba de Amigo game, and this is a Sega game. And I did say I wanted to see Sega announcements. And so, either way, I was not expecting this from them. I'm like, Samba de Amigo was one of those, those cult classic games from the Sega Dreamcast. And it's basically a game, game where you play a, a monkey with maracas. It's a rhythm game. game and... And on the Dreamcast, it actually came with these Maraca controllers. What is the use of it? And, and, and I'm assuming that with the Switch, they'll be using the motion controls and the Joy-Cons for the Maracas. And so, so, that's a thing. And, and yeah. Uh, it looks pretty good. And, and I think my brothers are definitely going to be looking forward to it now. Oh, but next thing is, oh, geez, I don't remember. Um, oh, oh, wait, there's, there's a Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. And Zach got some new content revealed for it. Right, there's an epilogue story right, that's going to be available after you beat the main game. And there's also going to be a demo. Oh, and... And that, that should be pretty good. And I'm definitely looking forward to that. And there's also oh wait, oh wait, new Mario Kart, Kart content coming in the spring, Wave 4. Or they revealed a new track, and they also revealed a new character, or which really does have me excited because there's something that really disappointed me about the DLC so far for, for Mario Kart that's coming out now is that uh, it's only courses that are carried over from 
um, the mobile game Mario Kart Tour. Who were, and they didn't add any characters. And they didn't add any really new courses. But now we've got a brand new course with Yoshi's Island. And, and they're adding Birdo from uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. I mean, that's how they advertised it anyway. Okay, so... Eh. And they also revealed that they're adding Game Boy games to the Switch Online service. And the Game Boy Advance titles will be with the expansion pack. And that's launching today. Okay, so I'm definitely going to need to check that out uh, once I finish this video. And they also announced that uh, the first free Etrian Aussie games from the DS are being released on the Switch later. I think it's in the summer. Yeah, it's in the summer. And these are games where you're basically going through a dungeon and in first person with turn-based combat and and you're making the map up as you go along. And I'm just wondering how they're going to translate that into docked play he like maybe they'll have have a feature that lets you into the map be more he uh, uh, stutter uh, sorry but maybe they'll they'll have the map that that makes uh, uh, I'm having a hard time speaking but maybe they'll have a feature where or the map makes itself automatically and you can turn that on or off off depending on whether you're playing stationary or in portable mode okay. That'll do. But anyway, it's a little disappointing that this is only the original DS versions. Like, I want the untold versions of 1 and 2 from the 3DS to be ported over. Or, like, I especially want 2 untold to be ported over because I have that physical on my 3DS and it is the best theme because it has Ariana in it. But that aside, they also announced that uh, Bot and Kytos 1 and 2 are being remastered over from the GameCube. And those are RPGs from Monolith Soft of Xenoblade fame. And, and they're basically turn-based RPGs where you have a deck of cards and to function as, as the menu system for commands. And, and I actually played a demo of the original Bates and Kytos way back when. And when they had it available in kiosks and stores. Or is where you, they had kiosks of the consoles where you could basically play demos of some of the games that were out at the time. And they don't really do that anymore these days. And I kind of wish they still did. But I digress. Spot and Kaitos is something that I definitely have my eye on. And, and I definitely want to play that for the channel you know, when it comes out. Or sometime after, I don't know. Oh, it just depends on on where I'm at at that time. Amen. And, and Nintendo also announced that they were remastering Metroid Prime. I mean, the remaster is already done, and it's available digitally on the Switch eShop now. Oh, and they're going to be coming out with a physical version in a couple of weeks. And, and, and well... Well, it, well, that's the thing. I mean, I mean, Metroid Prime 4 is going to be coming out sooner or later, and they're going to need to say something about that eventually. I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't say something about it now, but we are still getting something to do with Metroid Prime. And it's also a little disappointing that it's only the first one, like, not the second and third ones, but... Who knows, maybe they'll remaster those too at some point. I don't know. But... Uh, I'm having trouble remembering what else I wanted to talk about. Uh, oh yeah! Uh, they showed off a cyberspace police RPG from level 5, and it looks really cool. Well, and, and before anyone... And says anything related to politics, I'm just going to say, please don't. There is a time and place for that kind of thing, and this is not at the time or the place for that. And so, let's not focus on that right now. Oh, I don't want to delve into that here. 
Sure. So moving on. In the, in the Square Enix had really just an announcement for a demo of Octopath Traveler 2 to show. I kind of wish we got to see more from them. But hey, can't win them all. And, and I am definitely looking forward to Octopath Traveler 2. I still need to go back and, and beat the original first. But I will definitely be trying out the demo for Octopath 2. Who, because I'm really looking forward to that game. And finally, they ended things off with, with a gameplay trailer for Tears of the Kingdom. And they really did need to do this. And it's like, honestly, this is going to be their biggest release for the year. And a lot of people are looking forward to it. And, and people just needed to see a gameplay showing for it. And so, yeah. And it's still set to come out in May of this year. They haven't delayed it again. And that's pretty much it for the stuff that caught my interest. And actually, there is one more thing. They teased a new Professor Lane game from Level 5. And if my mother was still here with us, she would have been really interested to hear about that. Because she really loved the Professor Lane games on DS. And that'll be something I'll be looking at, looking at eventually. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, that's what I liked from, from the Nintendo Direct. That's all the stuff that caught my interest. And, and tomorrow we'll be getting back to the Dia Field Chronicle. So until then, I am Atelier Toka, Spear Alchemist or Tasker, and I am going to take my own advice and go touch some grass.